panda. I got brides in Atlanta, just to be in the family. Credit cards in the scams, getting the licks in the band. Legacy. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. All right, so another big spot for this high-level wrestler here tonight, and the opposition knows what's coming, but more often than not in the UFC, they've been unable to stop. It's because it's a little boy. He spent his life on the wrestling mats, and even though you start to prepare for it late, you cannot match his ability to train, his ability to focus, the idea that once he gets a hold of you, it only ends with him in top position. It does not matter if he has to get a high crotch. It does not matter if he needs to get a single leg or a double leg. The purpose is to get you to the floor, and he has been trained his entire life to do just that. Yeah, he put it well. He's got a lot of throws and takedowns and trips in his arsenal, and he'll try to put them to good use in this matchup here tonight. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Three years apart with big differences in height and reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 206 pounds. Fighting out of Mumbai, India, Grandmaster. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, Monster. All right, Griffin, it is a lock room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. underway and when we sat down with him on Thursday he understood the grappling challenge he was up against but he's not afraid to engage on the ground tonight it's a danger that is not worth risking it is something that you don't want to play with this grappler is that good when this fight gets to the ground you enter his world especially when it looks like you hold the advantage on the feet Oh, beautiful jab by him there really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach Nice punch lands over the top. Slips the punch nicely there. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Be first, be first. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. 
Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice strike. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Connects with a right. with the right punch. Just over three minutes to go now. Lands with the kick there, no pat on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Nice leg kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Circling towards the left now. Oh, just opening up on him now. Just misses with that big right hand. Body blow, anything. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Oh, an educated jab there. I can watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Connects with the right. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird over the top of his head. If you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Nice head kick. Straight right, he misses. Flush right hand is true. Big kick lands. He loaded up there on that high kick. Hook shot lands. Oh, straight right. Oh, how about it? Huge kick landed. Seconds now to go in the round. Blocks that strike. Keep your hands up. 20 seconds to go in round one. Unable to connect with the right. Big call punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Five minutes in the books. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. Fight. Nice job to block the shot there. Up that jam first. 
bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's gonna put it to sleep. Beautiful leg kick throw. Oh, wow! Head kick. The right hand just misses. jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did, because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm gonna tell you one thing, it does not feel good. There's no tell on that leg kick. Big hook. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Liver kick. Three minutes remain in the round. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Man, as he landed a high ball, you big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that fifth. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big left hook there. He's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Big kick lands. Time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to work very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Good defense. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Defensively, as he blocks the shot. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly and it hurt his opponent very bad. And he landed the right hand there. He blocks the shot. Final seconds here of round two. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land.
All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been right. headhunting, and he landed a big enough That's shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Oh, he's His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Nice one-two there. Just out of the range with that right hand. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh! Oh, he's hurt. Oh! Back to the feet. And just like that, the fight is over. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rigliotta's call stop to this contest at 59 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce. Here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.